Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, hello. So I am definitely very excited for this one. I'm going to be reacting to, as you've already read by the title, obviously, I'm around Archangel or Archangel, however you would pronounce that. It is the third song on their album thus far. It is of course viral, strong, featuring Nura. I'm going to have the worst time remembering her surname, but I will put it across the screen nonetheless. So let's just. Let's just jump right into this. I'm too excited. Just watch. As in me, just watch. And as you can see, I did make a bit more of an effort with my makeup. Straighten out my extensions, just looking all nice. At about six or so in the morning. So far at six. And like a fiery background. I'm around newest insignia. Ooh. And a little bit shred on the wings, wingless, in a very fiery environment. Loving her outfit though. I was also I was also contemplating a high ponytail, very Lee's ride ponytail, but I just clearly stuck with hair down. I definitely have this um, post-apocalyptic, ethereal environment, like a hellish, angelic environment. Or well, like a red dress too. She goes from angel to a wingless angel to this badass vampire looking woman to more reddish toned. And this time, I, I'm so distracted by the music, sorry for the stuttering, for the tripping of words. But this time, it's the band is included, not just in overlay music, but physically in a video. I don't know what they call centaurs. I guess that's what their horns are meant to represent. I love her makeup. I love her, like I just said, I love her white dress. It's very cage-like. You know, parts of her are hanging out. I'm loving the absolute mix of harmonious, um, harmonious vocals, obviously the heavy metal. And in the very beginning of the music, there was this, um, that deep cathedral music that you hear in angelic-like movies, plus his high notes that she's singing. Like the vocals of an angel. Great figure. Ooh. I'm also getting some of the rings vibes from some of the headwear. Like Elven, mix Centaur, mix post apocalyptic, mix hell, mix angelic. Oh I like that outfit too. There's a little bit around a grande. There's a bit in there I was trying to say. Oh, I'm going too far back, my bad. Eh, sense of yourself, Shannon. I'm so hoping that she has a nude or like an underwear piece. Well, obviously she would, but still I love the outfit. All right, moving on. Oh my gosh. I don't know what note that was. <coughs> first of all, <coughs> excuse I. So first of all, I loved each of the outfits she wore. The beginning angel cage like ribs dress. There was about the length, but also the ripped wings, like she really got dumped from heaven and clearly landed in a very hellish environment. So it's always, that, it's always gonna be that one rebellious angel. I loved every other dark element of her dress, like she had become a little bit more attuned to the environment of hell. And I'm guessing all those horns, um, like centaur horns, were supposed to represent, not necessarily represent demons. Because um, they were definitely far more centaur like. Um, I'm so hard just to explain it and describe. I definitely love the um, occasional mix of how Liz had an environment to herself and then back in with the band. And each group, each group member. Member of the band, my gosh, Shannon. As you can tell, I do not work in a band, I do not know the correct terminology. Every other band member, almost every other band member, had like a horn wrapping around the body, kind of like tree trunks, really, or vines, very, very thick vines. Or others had more um, horns out of their hair, but not devilish related, just more central. 
where Elise goes from each different, from an angelic white dress with shredded, you know, ripped wings from her back, down to more of a blackish dress with the bands, then a red dress by herself, then another black, more Ariana Grande type of dress. And with hand and her teachers the Billy in the frame. I do like her um, changes of makeup too as well, but this was definitely a very supernatural element to any of their music. They've always kept a very uh, digital related, um, te not technological. I do remember in one music video, I've forgotten which one it was, but she was sort of like a cheerleader or sorts in a boxing ring. Um, so they've always you know, kept it very digitalized, and keeping to keeping with the appeal of just always being in a very new age digital environment type of vibe. This one is definitely very new for them as far as from being very angel fallen from earth, fallen from earth, okay, fallen from heaven, but then dumped straight down to hell, hence the hellish environment. And then actually rolling in with the new outfits that she had being obviously the darker dresses. It was just essentially being fallen from heaven. It was such an amazing and beautiful music video. How each of them have their own uh, style as well, their own manifestation of vibe with each of the centaur looks or wrapped up in those three heavy thick vines whatever you want to call it. so each of them sent to hell assumingly and stuck with that manifestation of themselves like no longer angelic no longer pure of light carrying out this darker more broody morbid hellish vibe so with a whole stream of lack of proper explanation and you know just words that were barely coming to mind and barely making sense once it reaches the tip of my tongue, this was my I keep going to say first impressions. This was my reaction to Amaran's arch arch. It is about seven in the morning. Haven't exactly slept since the last time I made this reaction video. Obviously being strong, I uh, seriously so haven't gotten a week wink of sleep. I have been been watching. Brianna, not Brianna Taylor, Brianna White, sorry, obviously all due respect to Brianna, Brianna Taylor, she deserves justice, which is entirely besides the point, but every time Brianna White's mind, any time Brianna White's name comes to mind, I also automatically think of Brianna Taylor, who absolutely deserves justice. I think no matter how much she's been laid to rest by her family and friends, it still isn't enough, the family deserves justice, but again, entirely besides the point. So I've been binge watching Brandon Weiss on her gaming channel, obviously. Anyway, so zero sleep there. But with this Archangel, I keep. How would you pronounce it? Archangel? Archangel? I keep going to ordinarily call it Archangel. But anyway, Archangel is definitely a beautiful music video, very hellish related. And they're like the tiniest snippet left of anything angelic and purity, and all purity. So again, with a lack of, you know, smart sounding words, lack of any intelligence, especially on my part, this was my reaction to the busy video Amaranth Archangel. Thank you all so much for watching, I really do hope you enjoyed this reaction, much less and the music video itself. I'm clearly delirious. <laughs> Edit this, start uploading it, and then go to heck to sleep. Just rip your house. So thank you all so much for watching, I know I keep repeating myself. Thank you for watching and I shall see you all for my future videos. Statical related, fitness related and reaction. More hand annotations out of frame and more reaction video related. Ciao!